fast, and so I let go. See it? Right there. That's a great little fly. You'll, you will enjoy yourself with that. I will. I'm going to put it on right now. Nice. My name is Alvin Shell. On August 31st, 2004, I was wounded in Iraq. I uh, pulled someone out of a truck, and while we were pulling that individual out of a truck, we were ambushed. Uh, there was a big explosion on the road, and a lot of people were caught in the fire. I ran into the fire, and I grabbed uh, my, uh, my staff sergeant, and uh, I put him out, and subsequently, I was, I was burned on my right side, pretty much all the way down, uh, third degree burns. I woke up later uh, after about seven days in a coma, and I, I, I woke up in Texas in Brook Army Medical Center uh, with my wife looking up at me and also my father looking up at me. It was, it, it was pretty, pretty disorienting, and it, it took me quite a while to really understand exactly what happened to me. But the fight was on at that time, and the doctors, I remember telling me there was a possibility I wouldn't be able to walk again or even talk again from the smoke inhalation. Um, and so all I could do was really just whisper and move my left hand. And I remember talking to my wife and feeling really bad for her because she, she didn't sign up for that. Uh, she, she knew what it was to be you know, a military spouse. She grew up in a military family, but I didn't. So I really didn't understand what the ramifications were for going to war. And, and so I remember talking to her and telling her that, you know, hey, the doctors told me that I might not ever walk again or I might not ever talk again. And, you know, I, I was just deeply saddened by that for her. And I remember her leaning into me and saying, I don't care and I'll accept you however you are. And, and so in my recovery bed, I remember uh, telling my wife that I, you know, I, I really love to learn how to fly fish. I'm, I'm an old country boy that learned, you know, with a bobber and, and, a, and, a, and a worm. And out of the many things that I wanted to do, if I ever had an opportunity to get out of the bed, one of those things were fly fishing. I remember someone telling me about, hey, you know there's an organization at Fort Belvoir that uh, they, they teach people how to fly fish. And so I said, Okay, all right, sure, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll go check it out. And so one mo Monday evening, I went there. And I, I remember going to Fort Belvoir, and I remember looking and seeing, uh, you know, people who were still active duty, people who were transitioning out, people that were veterans, and then some people like, 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 like Bo Beasley, who didn't have a military affiliation, but they were there just to help us. You know, they were there with a sincere, thank you for your service and this is what I can do to help you. And these guys brought me in and they said, don't worry about it. And, and more than anything, they taught me fellowship. And they taught me fellowship with other veterans. And I remember going out on the grass one time when I was getting some casting instructions and I believe it was Mark who, who, who said, okay, let, let me see how you cast. And in my mind, I was like, you know what, I, I've, I've watched YouTube a million times, I've got this thing, I'm gonna really impress him. And I remember casting out and probably throwing it like a rock. And he looked at me and said, well, I got a couple suggestions for you. <laughs> and, and I remember looking at him and I said, listen to me. I was like, I, I have PTSD, I have TBI, my arm doesn't work the way it used to, my waist doesn't work the way it used to, my patience isn't what it used to be, I'm different. And, and, and I learn differently now. And physically, I respond differently. And I remember him leaning into me and saying something very similar that my wife said to me. And he said, I don't care, and I'll accept you however you are. So I did learn differently. And, and, and I did learn the fellowship. I, I, I say to Project Healing Waters, um, I say to my wife, I, I say to other veterans and other individuals who have no military affiliation like Mr. Brokaw, Mr. Mr. Beasley, uh, and, and those individuals who with a genuine heart say thank you for your service, I say thank you for supporting us and accepting us for now how we are. Thank you.